Hi, everybody. Welcome to Brooks Knows Baseball. 30 breakdowns in 30 days. We are uh, still uh, wrapping it up. Only have, what, three more teams left? Mm -hmm. um, after, well, including today. But today we'll talk about a team who has, is arguably uh, regular season, at least, the most successful team in baseball the last decade. Um, you got to call them that. Uh, the Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, they have had three out of the last four years of winning 106 games or more. Think of that. They won 111 games last year. If you go back through the entirety of their history, which, you know, they don't have a good history in L.A. or, or Brooklyn or anything, um, that is the most games that they have ever won. And that's saying something because you can trace them all the way back to 1884 Brooklyn Atlantics. So they're pretty good. They, you know, they have some World Series as well, which they also have a t World Series tie, which is cr kind of crazy to think about. In 1890, the Brooklyn Bridegrooms tied for the World Series. So I don't know if you can count that or not. But then um, you go back to 1955, the Dodgers won it. 1959, they won it as well. 63, 65, 81, 88. And then they had won it in the shortened, COVID-shortened season of 2020. But they have made the playoffs every year since 2013. They have won their division every year except for 2021, where they finished second in their division. How would you like to finish second winning 106 games? Maybe in a wild card team at 106 games. No, no. But other than that, they win the division every year. Um, they're a very story team. If you go back to 2004, they've only missed the playoffs one, two, three, four times since 2004. And it seems every single year they have money to spend, and every single year they have prospects to sell at the trade deadline. Time out. You know they didn't spend money this year. Yeah, and I think we know why. Okay, as long as we're on the same page there. Okay, trivia question. Why are they called the Dodgers? Something in New York. Yeah, because they're Oh, because you're dodging the trains or something. Or the trolleys. Right? The trolleys. Yeah, there you go. I knew that. Right. Yeah. But without further ado, BF John, would you like to yeah. talk about? Yeah, what they – what they picked up in the off season, they got uh, JD Martinez. Uh, JD's a hitter, man. Yeah, his power's down to sixteen, and he's old. He's really old. Uh, Yanni Hernandez, they got from the A's, uh, infielder. Mm. Jason Hayward, there's a colossal career bust. Um, you know, he's another one the Braves got rid of because they saw it, and he's a hometown guy, and they still got rid of him. Noah Syndergaard, how many chances is Noah going to get? You know. Well, he, he was healthy last year, though, wasn't he? For the most part. Uh, yeah. uh, Shelby Miller, he, he had like one halfway decent year, and he's bounced around everywhere, and he's just – it's not much there, you know. Yeah, but syndergaard has been on four teams in four years, man. He's not what he was when he was with the Mets. He's kind of got that Matt Harvey thing going, you know. He peaked. He no, 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 no. I mean, he, he may have had some, some – some, He's <laughs> lost four miles an hour on his velocity. He, he he did stay healthy and throw strikes last year, um, d d and then you get well. Let's see. So if we're going to the rotation, I forgot to say they picked up JP that Fire Rising. Yeah, Fire Fire Rising. Yeah, that's the other one. But that's that's pretty much it. But when you get, you know, I'm torn on them. I know you're going to predict them probably first or second, but. Their offense, well, let's go to their pitching, okay? I know Kershaw, he's great, instant Hall of Famer, okay. And uh, Urias, okay, yep. But Urias this, is arguably the best pitcher in baseball. Well, uh, yeah. <clears throat> um, Kershaw had another great season, but he was hurt, had forearm and back problems. Uh, his fastball starting to come down. and But, you know, his slider and curveball are still elite, but he knows how to pitch. He can he can stand a velocity. He still had like a two two eight ERA I think last year. Yeah. But and his buddy uh, Urias was two one six led the National League I believe in ERA. Batters batted one ninety nine against him. Uh, elite level fastball curve spin rates are elite. But then um, I'm showing after that. My list is uh, probably Syndergaard, Dustin May, and Ryan. I guess it's Pepiot. Mm -hmm. uh, he pitched, I guess he's a rookie last year, and pitched a little bit. Dustin Mays hurt a lot, so who knows where to get there. Syndergaard, almost a four ERA last year, 25 games, so he didn't play all the year, only 134 innings. So, I, you know, I I, I, I think they're going to fall mightily. That's Compared to last opinion. year, yeah, I have them losing a lot more games. If they win 90 games, I'll be shocked. 
Well, I think you're going to win that. How? Because the right. pitching staff, man. Okay, okay. Well, after the first two, what do you got? Dustin May went healthy. He's a, he's a top half pitcher. And then uh, uh, Syndergaard's a four. Ever, May, Syndergaard would be a, a good of four as anybody would have on any team as a fourth starter. But May, let's, let's look at May. You know, I don't want to be personal here, but he's got to be the ugliest player in baseball. But um, I'm not saying I'm handsome, but that's son of a gun. Anyway, uh, he's only pitched, uh, started 25 games in the major leagues. Yeah. And it's 3 2 6 ERA, but that's great. But, I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, in spring, he's been pretty good. I mean, for them, I hope he's good, but. He's he's had good numbers, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, he's the last two games he's going to pitch the last two years of last games. Well, so is he going to be on the pitch limit? But they they got a lot of arms in the minors that can pitch, you know. So I mean, well, let's go. Know. Yeah, let's go talk about their uh, before we get Bullpen. to the right Yeah, to quickly touch on that, and we'll move on the catcher. Well, Evan Phillips, that's one I'd like to talk about. He's a, and that's one of the mistakes that the Orioles made right there. For some reason, they couldn't get him to do anything. They got rid of him, and he does really good for L.A. Uh, what was ZRA like? One, let's say I had it right here. If I'm reading correct, 1.14 in 64 games last year. Where did that come from? Mm-hmm. Um, and then I don't have his whip in front of me, but I know it was lower than one. But uh, so um, let's see who's going to close for them this year. Who you got? Oh, I think it's going to be Bruce Star Gratterall. There you go. I'm a Gratterall fan. Yeah, bet. Twins, huh? Yeah, and, and then Daniel Hudson's there. He's still he's still uh, there. But Daniel Hudson's hurt every other year, man. Gratterall's going to be a good closer. He brings the, the heat big time. Yeah, he is, he is a 99-mile-an-hour sinker. Not right. many guys do that. There's tons of ground balls. Um, yeah, they developed him. So I guess he'll be their closer. But other than that, let's see. Um, their bullpen, you got uh, Vessia. They have a solid bullpen. Yeah, Hudson, Evan Phillips, Shelby Miller will probably be a long man if he's not in AAA. Caleb Ferguson, he's been good from time to time. Oh, Phil Bickford, too. He's been good. Caleric. Oh, Blake Trine, and he's hurt. That J.P. Fair Rising, Fire Rising, he's He's going to be going most of the year. Alex Reyes, Jimmy Nelson's a veteran. He's been around. So I mean, their pitching staff—that's the only thing that's going to carry him. And I'll tell you, and I'll tell you why. Okay, looks good at her catcher. All right, Will Smith. I love Will Smith. Arguably he's the best, great. yeah. Arguably the best na- National League catcher. If he's not first, he's second. I'm just yeah. saying, there's an argument he made. Don't give me that look. I'm saying, you say he was. I said he's arguably there's an argument to be made. Well. uh, uh, wonder manager there uh, for uh, Team USA didn't think he was, so he started Real Muto. Yeah, well, but if you don't know what the Rosa I, did. You're an idiot. I, yeah, Wonder Boy. Uh, I I like Will Smith, so I give him that. Okay, and Austin Barnes, Team Mexico's catcher. Um, he's solid backup. First base, Freddie Freeman, good as you can get over Freddie there. Freddie Freeman's an, an amazing hitter. He's 33, but he's showed no signs of slowing down. He's a superstar. Like we said in our projections, superstars do not uh, uh, they don't trend down. Regress like just a regular player. Obviously, that's why they're a superstar. Well, uh, now, go ahead. I was just saying, if anything about Freddie, then we move on to second base. I mean, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm hearing it's going to be Vargas, the Cuban. Yeah, Miguel Vargas, 23 years old. I th- I've seen him a little bit in spring, and they're they're on behind me. I'm trying to watch some of it. It's not over, but uh, yeah, I think he he looks okay. I don't know how much. Have you ever hit. looked at his stats since 2019 in the minors? Let, uh, let me yeah. let me read you something real quick. His batting averages. Um, these are different, and it, these range anywhere from low A, high A, double, and triple A. Um, 325, 284, 314, 321, 304. He played 18 games for the Dodgers last year. Hit 206. Obviously, 50 50 plate appearances. So. Um, he has power too. He has mm-hmm. power in twenty in one hundred thirteen games. He hit seventeen home runs last year in Triple A well, for the Oklahoma City Dodgers. All right. Well, once you, I agree with you there, but once you get off and get a shortstop, here's where you're going to be hurting. Miguel Rojas. Rojas. Well, hold on. <laughs> they. <laughs> He's got yeah. experience, man. 
Yeah, 34 years old. Uh, He's a 260 uh, lifetime. Well, and then Gavin Lux got hurt, so he's gone. But then they got other people in the mix. Chris Taylor plays everywhere, you know. But Chris Taylor had an off year. Uh, he's we, getting we old like, too, isn't he? He's we like, like what is he? Thirty two. We like Chris Taylor, don't we? Yeah, Virginia Beach, babe. Yeah, he went to your high school. Um, uh, you know, Gavin Lux. That was a shame. He's supposed to be a star, and he finally get his chance. Luke Williams. I've seen him some. He's there. I don't know if he'll ever play, but I liked him. Um, Max Muncy. <laughs> But, yeah, Max Muncy. What did old Max do for him last year? Max didn't do jack. No, Max he was supposed to be 20, a stud. He batted 196, strikes out 25%. Um, He's got some pop. Oh, did you hear it? Did James – well, that's outfield. I'll get to him in a minute. Um, and then, yeah, Chris Taylor could be the second baseman too. But uh, I think Chris Taylor's more did. of a um, platoon guy. Utility, yeah. You don't, he, you, don't you don't want him to start. Well, he struck out thirty five percent of the time last year. But then go to the outfield. Let's let's skip the obvious Mookie Betts, six time All Star, blah 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 blah. Uh, Trace how, Thompson. How can you just say skip him? Blah blah blah. He's well, we'll go back to him. I want to get to the bad. Trace Thompson. <laughs> His brother's uh, good. David friggin' Peralta. How old is he? Did 30, he break in with the babe? He'll be 36. He was drafted in 2004. Yeah, okay. One thing yeah, that's, that's odd good. with this Dodgers team, it's typical, not typical, I don't think it's typical. They have two guys in their starting nine that they drafted. Just two. Think of that. And yeah. they usually are, their pitching staff's different. They have every one of their pitchers except Syndergaard they drafted. Uh, and then their bullpen, not so much. But... Um, what about James James Altman? Uh, I hear a lot about him. Is he going to make the team? Do we know? Let's see here. Is Walker Bueller coming back this year at all? Who? Walker Bueller. He's on disabled with 60 day right now. He had Tommy John last year. No, he's not. No. In March, March, July. Yeah, but no, yeah, Mookie, he, had, he had Tommy John late August. He ain't coming back. Maybe the playoffs. Yeah, Mookie yeah, Betts. Yeah, I. I Go back to him. Yeah, he's he's a good, solid player. I don't think he's want to want is what he once was because. Uh, well, hell, he hit three forty nine when he was on his game. You know what? He, what he hit last two years? Well, if let's see, last year's he hit two sixties both years. Two what? Two sixties. Two sixties. Two sixty four and two sixty nine. So. Um, he's a great so, 293 hitter, and his power um, his power went up. All right? He okay, hit 35 home runs last year. But a 260 hitter ain't nothing special. If you're a 265 hitter, all right, not a 260, he almost hit 270 last year. So say, round up, let's say he hits 270, 30 home runs. You wouldn't take that? Well, I'm just saying he's not superstar, but he thinks. But I will tell you that James Altman, they announced he did make the team. He's, one of their, he, he's supposed to be one of their better rookies. And he made the team. Well, that's good. Um, so that there's some youth and someone that's uh, uh, someone they produced herself. Yeah. Well, anything else you want to touch on the Dodgers? I mean, uh, JD Martinez is coming over. He's you know he can hit. His power might be going he down. Could hit. He, he could hit. I think I think he's going to be some more. I think they're going to be better than you think. I don't know why you don't think they're going to be good. I, I agree to let's agree to disagree. I, I see 85 win year. Because no way. Kershaw, Kershaw's never healthy. The older he gets, it's just going to get worse as he gets old. No way. Okay? They've no already way. lost their shortstop. Okay? Their outfield. If you got Trace Thompson starting your outfield, David Peralta, holy God. I mean, come on, man. That That's no better than the God darn Colorado, some of their starters. Well. Can you match them up against San Diego and the other teams? Well, come we'll on. talk about that in a minute. But let's talk about the prospects real quick. Their prospect system is second overall, only behind the Baltimore Orioles. And some people argue that it is higher. I don't personally think so, but I am what you call very, very biased. So, taking a look at their top prospect, it is going to be Diego Cartaya, a 21-year-old catcher. Then you got Bobby Miller, a 23-year-old Right-handed pitcher, Miguel Vargas, who we already talked about, who plays a little bit of every corner infield outfielder. Michael Bush, second base and outfielder in AAA. He's 25. It's time for him to get called up. Gavin Stone, another pitcher in AAA. And then Ryan Pepiot, which we already discussed. So I think if if their back-end bullpen is, or back-end starters are struggling, 
They can call it Bobby Miller. They can call it Gavin Stone. They're ready. They are ready. Take a look here at number two overall prospect, Bobby Miller. He's six foot five, two hundred twenty pounds. First round pick in the twenty twenty draft. He's in AAA last year. Did not do it particularly well in Tulsa, but in when he got to Oklahoma City, he only played four games in AAA last year and had a three three ERA. If he's on his stuff and if he's low threes again like that, what's to say he's not coming up to be their fourth starter? Then they're pitching. It's a retooling year. I, they're not going to be as good as they were last year, but I no. I They've lost too many people, man. You don't replace Trey Turner. You absolutely do not replace Trey Turner. And you can't tell me he's not worth 10 wins a year. Well, let me, t- let me tell you real quick who they lost. They lost Trey Turner, Tyler Anderson, uh, Justin T- Tyler Anderson was good. Justin Turner, Cody Bellinger, Chris Martin, Andrew Heaney, Craig Krimble, Joey Gallo, Kevin Pillar, Tommy K- K- Conley, Hanser Alberto, Heath Hembray, Danny Duffy. That's who they lost last year. Right. You can't replace Trey Turner. They don't have – I don't see anybody there replacing Tyler Anderson. And, hell, Justin Turner still hits. Um, Heaney, man, they could probably replace him. Uh, Gallo, that was good. Um, in the outfield, Pilar, you know, we know he's pretty good. Yeah, but uh, take a look at our projection systems. How many ones you say you have – You think? I say 85 to 87. I have them at 91 and 71. We need to write these down. It's on. I don't have to write nothing. Now. It's on the website. You should know that. But ninety-one All seventy-one right. losing what? A lot more games than twenty more games than they lost last year. But I still think I don't think they're going to win the division. I finished in second. I don't have. I am losing the, in the wild card on there. Right. Right. I just think the Padres well, are too much, and the Giants are going. Giants are going to be tough. Dave Roberts obviously is good. So yeah. I mean, they'll they'll be all right. I mean, just, I, I don't think it'd be as good. And I think they're gonna it's gonna be a retooling year, and they're saving up for next year. I mean, they didn't go replace any of these people because they were saving their money for some mysterious reason. Yeah. Oh, Tony might know what that is. But John, I'll let you decide. That is all for the Los Angeles Dodgers tomorrow. We're coming back with the San Diego Padres, which will be a fun team to talk about. And then the San Francisco right. Giants will wrap this uh, series up, and we'll be done 30 teams in 30 days. So, John, give us a sign-off. Let's get out of here. Okay, that's all for now, folks. We'll see you next time on Brooks Nose Baseball. Good night. Good night.